Welcome to WCTV Sports. I'm Christian Fernandez, your host tonight. It's uh, girls' varsity basketball. Uh, tonight's matchup looks like Case High School versus Our Lady Vikings. Um, hopefully tonight, Taylor, um, next to me, Taylor Dozier. Er. Dozier, yes. <laughs> Do Dozier. <laughs> Dozier. Yeah, you got it. Hey, uh, all right. Hey, I'll, I'm, I'll get it one of these days. Um, uh, hopefully, we will not have the same repeat that we had last game, which was last week. Um, the girls didn't do a good job, and they fell short of a win. Um, actually, it was a large, a large yeah. short. It turned into a little bit of a blowout at the end, yeah. Um, hopefully, they have the confidence back, and hopefully, they can... Uh, get more of those free throws in that we like to see and uh, hopefully they can be ahead but Case can be one of those tricky teams I haven't seen or heard any stats from them yet this year but sometimes some years they can be really hot and some years they can be kind of not really anything so um, maybe maybe this will be good maybe they'll be pretty evenly matched um, hopefully it won't be a huge blowout uh, the JV game right now, Wareham is up, so maybe that's an inkling of what the varsity is like. Who knows? Um, but I'm, I really hope it's not like last week. Well, I, we're, we're both hoping that it's not like last week. It was a tough loss for them, but with uh, Case High School, it's pretty much exactly what you said. Sometimes they're like, wow, and other times they're like, what are we doing here? They're currently 3-3 three and three during the season. Um, I've checked out a couple of their stats. They're a very good offensive team, and then they're not. And then they're a very good defensive team, and then they're not. The most hot and cold, up and down team I think I've ever seen. So hopefully we catch them on an off day and uh, we're able to score, play defense like we did last week, and keep it consistent instead of uh, sputtering out like it did at the end of the game last week. So it's going to be an exciting game. Yeah. And uh, we'll be right back um, after we do the starting lineups and the national anthem.
understand the hand thing. Huh? I don't understand the hands thing. The holding and the yeah. swinging. It, I, it, they, all the girls do that. Yeah, I know. I don't. I just. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I think it would be funnier if the guys started. Yeah, doing that'd it. just be. I thought it was the wave at first. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to rip the hands out of the other one socket. <laughs> it's Gerald. <laughs> I always got to pick a name before the game, just like this will be the name. <laughs> Can America hear me? Hmm? Can America hear me? <laughs> yes. Not when you whisper. <laughs> Can y'all hear me yelling out? At the beginning of the game, we're gonna start. Right I am right. Taylor Dozier, <laughs> and I am your host. <laughs> right, absolutely. Not even the blooper reel. It's going straight to the... Good, just don't. <laughs> All right, case with ball first. <laughs> so while they uh, play the game before the buzzer. Is that what this? Yeah, I guess. But <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep on letting it roll. Laura Pinkston has the rebound. Amanda Johnson, who started the game hot last time, but really faded away towards the end of the game. She also got into a lot of foul trouble as well. Just like it looks like Case is going to be trying to handle uh, Molly down low. But um, yeah, hopefully everybody has their stuff together. The key to this game, I don't of course. Know if that's a really good. I hope that's not the person who's covering Molly the whole game because that doesn't seem like a really yeah, it good. It doesn't, doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> there was a little bit of a pick and roll there with Nascimento and Molly, so we'll see if that continues for the rest of the game. And she makes both shots. Coach was pretty adamant about running the plays correctly and not turning the ball over. And so far, it looks like it's working out. I know it's only the beginning of the game, but got to see if Man they. on. Yep. Oof. That was the wall of Molly. <laughs> Great defense for Wareham. It's off of Laura Pinkston. Whoa. Wareham ball. I'll I guess it. not. <laughs> I, I saw Laura had tipped that out. And it looks like a full court press break by Case here. See if Wareham knows how Ooh, to break double, that. Double trap. Seems effective right now. Wareham can't even get across the line. Now they have. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> nice move. Mid range. Nascimento just off. But rebounded Molly by Johnson. Johnson. Goes up with it. Just no off. good. Good, good shot attempt though, and it was a nice Bang pass. court with ball. Looks to take it all the way. Pass over. Fitzgerald? Fitzgerald, yep, that's the name. Pass it inside, Amanda Johnson. Looks like she was gonna get the steal there, but gets it taken away. Bat court again. Nice pass to the inside, and it's just off. Great defense. Ooh. Could be a foul against Laura Pinkston. We'll send Moniz to the line, shooting two. First, we're going to go down here. Ooh. Looks like she has an injured hand there, number 10. And it's her shooting hand, yep. which is a little bad, but she gets the second she one. She gets in. the second one to go. Two to one, 6.24 to go. Looks Amanda like Johnson fast down the court. Grace Serrato for two, no good. Molly Johnson from between the legs of the case player. Ooh, a lot of contact and the foul is called. Nice drive. See if um, Grace can uh, be what we saw her a few weeks ago, not mm. last week. There we go. Five, six, five, four, 
like we were saying at the beginning of the game, Case is a very up and down team. Some days they'll score 60, other days they'll score like 20 points. So it looks like Warehand's playing great defense right now, which is keeping them at bay. So we're going to see what happens here. Batting court with ball. Passes over to Monez. Double trap switch. Ooh. Foul against Amanda Johnson. Looks clean from here. It was a reach in. It was a reach in. Pass over to Orton. For three. Just off. Where I'm looking to push the break here. Pass over, Tiara in the corner for three. Way off. Ooh, but, ah. It's gonna be Wareham ball, or is it Wareham ball? I didn't see. Referee said white, but pointed for case. He's saying one didn't see, and the other one's saying he did It's gonna be a jump ball. Oh. Either way, it's going to be wear hand ball. When neither referee see it, that's what they have to do. So, <laughs> it worked out in wear hand's favor. Ooh. Long a ball. Beautiful pass, oh. and it, there was a lot of contact there. Well. Oh wow! Wow! And more <laughs> contact. We're letting we're letting them play tonight. Tiara to the rim. There Easy we go. two points. Tiara to oh. Six to one, Wareham with 5.15 left and in the quarter. And three different girls have two points. Nice. The ball movement has been good for them so far. Fast breaks. Ooh, Chris almost <laughs> hit the head there. Oh. And it looks like it's going to be a charge. Yep. She steamrolled her. Yeah, she really did. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I said, they were letting them play. Case only has one point on the board here. It's been three yeah, I minutes can't even already. Dispute that she did it. She like <laughs> <laughs> the She's girl. like, yeah, I did that. Down low. Oh, and what in. a shot! That's uh, number four. Aruda. Oh, but none of the fast break points are blocked away by Aruda. That's some good hustle there. I'm really not sure how she made that two-point basket. <laughs> It's like a 2-3 zone for Case. Pass inside, blocked. Ooh. It's going to be a foul on Ruta. I don't know that I would have called it yeah, a foul. That was, I, I saw a lot of ball there, but. You heard the ball yeah, from up here. I saw a lot of ball. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a foul, it would hurt slap. <laughs> it's funny how they'll call that, but won't call people getting run over on the other end. <laughs> And she makes both, and another person has two points on the board. <laughs> Pinkston with the with the free throws there. Betancourt with ball. Eight to three, four thirty-eight to go in this quarter. It's like an easy-going game for Wareham so far. Orton with ball. Betancourt spin move. Pass over to number ten, and it's good. Wow. Two. Moniz. And that's going to be a backcourt violation. See, this is the thing we need to work on for Wareham. Just try not to turn the ball over. Simple mistakes like that. That's what happened last week, and sadly, they got in trouble for it. You got to keep Case cold, because when they get hot, they really do get hot. Nice Tips away by, Johnson. by Amanda Johnson, and she's going to take it straight up and to the core. A lot of contact, and, and one. In. Amanda Johnson with the and one there. Great focus. She was like in the air when she let go of the ball. A little bit of hang time. She's got the Kyrie's on, she's playing like Kyrie. 
And oh, no, no one. <laughs> Orton with ball. Case looking to go down low. A lot of contact, Ooh. nothing called. It's going to go out on Case. Shot. I wish he flips the ball when it comes to those layups. Looks like a 1 2 2 zone for Case when it comes to a full court press. Almost stolen away. Nascimento pass over to Pinkston and oh, just misses. Just on the back end of the, the net where there's uh, no way of going in. Fitzgerald with ball. Orton looking to take a three, but it's a oh, pass over. Betancourt for three, just off. Johnson with the rebound. Pass to the other Johnson. Pass to Nascimento. Searching. Almost stolen away. It looks like a jump ball, and it looks like it's going to be Case Ball here. Yep, Case Ball. Case with the timeout. Uh, in the stands tonight, we have um, brother Isaac Nascimento, Olivia's brother. He was a. Uh, he didn't play basketball, but he played football for the Vikings, and he was a, a serious runner. Hmm. So far, it's ten to five. Wareham up by five, with three about with three minutes and eight seconds to go in the quarter. So far, they're doing a pretty good job, I'd say. I mean, they're playing defense. They're doing pretty well offense. I think they only have one turnover so far. So, I mean, it's not, it's not like the start they had <laughs> Are you last sure? <laughs> It's not like the start they had last week where they were just running through their set. But so far, it's but pretty remember, good. remember, we yeah. started off good. Yeah. It was what, what happened after that halftime. After that halftime. I'm not sure. They became sluggish, lost a lot of... Uh, Energy. I'm not really. I'm still not sure what happened. But so far they're playing really well here, and uh, they just gotta work on the turnovers and the fouls so far. And we're back. Bancourt with ball. Pass over to the corner to Fitzgerald. Back to Bancourt. Orton. Pass to the middle here. Trying to post up, but Molly Johnson's just too big down though. Well, we have to, looking, looking wise, Case team is a really young team as well. Yeah, they only absolutely. have one senior, and it looks like um, three juniors. Everyone else is sophomore or freshman, so. Well, so far they're four and three on this young season, so they're just above 500. Off the glass here, Betancourt. They're looking to trap, and it's going to be a pushing foul on Against Fitzgerald. Case. Yep. Case has already got five fouls, and they still have two minutes and 27 seconds left in this quarter. Most of them being reach-ins. That's over to Johnson. Cut down low, tipped away. Serato, nothing but air, but saved by Molly Johnson. Nascimento, back to Johnson. Wareham's got to run a play here. 2-3 zone by Case. Blocked away by Arruda. And nice shot by ben Johnson. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to call that shot, but good, good hit. <laughs> Two-handed granny. Yeah. Looks like a jump ball. It's going to be a well hand ball. Usually, uh, Laura Pinkston shies away from those, so maybe she's taking some pointers from Molly Johnson. I'll take it. Case keeping the full court press. A minute 35 left in the corner, 12 to 7. Great start on the outside, no good. 
going to be a over the back, I believe. I think that's Aruda's third foul. It's going to be a push. That's her second foul. Second. Silva's going to come We're still into the in game the first here. quarter. Yeah. These, all these numbers is going to be bad for Casey in the long end. Almost stolen away. Mid-range jumper, nothing but air. Or it was a ball. lot of contact. <laughs> Born with ball. She's mostly a three-point shooter. Ooh. And ooh. Just rolled out. That was out. rough. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Amanda Johnson with ball. Stolen away. Moniz with ball. Going to go all the way to the rim. Fouled by she Molly Johnson. Plan. It was, she was moving with her. She tried. going for her first. Oof. You got to think how much that hand is affecting her free throws. She's still playing. She's, she's still a is, trooper, yeah. but... You know, she's like tossing yeah. it versus shooting it. Oof. Almost turned the ball over there. Tiara. Looking to go all the way. A lot of contact, but she gets the rebound back. More but blocked contact. away. <laughs> Fitzgerald I think she should have passed it off. Almost a travel there. Sylvia with ball. Pass over. Monez Foul again. Molly Johnson again. That's going to be her, what? Third, I third. believe. Yeah. Oh, her second. Second time. Monez going back to the line. Allie James is going to be coming in for Molly Johnson. <laughs> Allie James, the defensive stud. Forty seconds left in the quarter. Twelve to nine. Wareham up. Serato looking to go all the way, but it looks like there was a lot of pushing. Oh there. no! 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 Backcourt and, violation. And That's Wareham's second backcourt violation. Yeah, definitely, definitely looked like a push on on Case there on Serato. The other Fitzgerald is in the game as well. Number thirty-four. Stolen Allie away. James. Tiara. Where is that going? Nope. She didn't even look. She just threw it up. The other Fitzgerald in the game, like I said before. Lonez, pass over. That was a nice pass. Yep, it looks like a travel. travel yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Silva. Warham with 10 seconds left, up by three. What do you think the play is going to be here? One shot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Mana Johnson looking to go ISO. Pass over, Tiara, for three. Yet again, a lot of contact. They are letting the, the yeah, they're contact let, go. They're let, they're let them play tonight. That's this was a boys game when both teams would already be at 10 fouls. Oh, yeah. So how do you think the first quarter went for Wareham? It's 12 to nine, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, their defense was really good. Um, offense has been better, was better than the end of what we saw last time. Mm. But it wasn't the end that, I mean, it wasn't the beginning that we had a problem with last time. It was the end, so. Um, I think it's average, I think it's average. Yeah. But Case looks run down. They, 
to be that tired out and we're only just out of the first quarter. Mm. Well, they got a lot of subs on the bench, but like you were saying before, there's just <laughs> there's just not a lot of veteran leadership on this team. I mean, you have one senior, a couple of juniors, and everyone else is practically a freshman. So Five freshmen. Yeah, I mean, the team is practically new. So I can understand why it seems like the juniors and seniors are going to be playing a lot more. Ooh, wow. A lot of contact. <laughs> Rebounding. That and went scored. In. That was number five. Uh, Abigail Saros. Yep. It looks like they stepped out of bounds there. <laughs> Coach is not okay with the call there. It's 12 to 11. We're him up by one. Kevin Brigioli yelling at the referee. Yeah, it didn't look like out from here either, but at the end of the day, referee runs the court. Pass over to the corner. Still. Ooh, and it's going to go off her foot. Hey, that's out. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> he saw that one. Amanda Johnson with ball. 12 to 11 with 720 left in the quarter. Warham up. Good play there. Oh, great play. Tiara to the rim, and it goes straight in. Nice little pick and roll action there. 14 to 11, Wareham up by three. Seven minutes left. Almost knocked Ooh, away. That's a weird Fitzgerald. pass. Fitzgerald. Silva. Pass over. Almost stolen away. Nice little cut to the rim floater. And they're going to call a the foul push. against Pinkston, I yeah. think. Yeah. I believe that's her third. Oh, nope. Allie James. That's her first. Both teams at six fouls. Number five at the line. In and out. Betancourt is going to sub back in for Case here. She makes her second. Tiara for three. Not, oh, even close. not even close. Yeah. Looks like she's forcing her shots. Betancourt. Fitzgerald for three. Just off. And it's going to be over the back call on the other Fitzgerald. It looks like we're in one and one. One and one, yep. Hopefully, this will get Tiara going a little bit more. Get her into the flow of the game. Relaxed. No, yeah, she looks. She looks like she's forcing it out there. Hopefully, these free throws were will ease her up. Ellie James with the rebound. Or not. Serato. To Johnson. She seems lost. Ooh, she pushed off there. Referees didn't catch it, but nice pass. Allie, to James. Allie James. And another player is on the board. Very evened out scoring for Wareham. There's only four players on the Wareham team who've not scored. Fitzgerald with the ball. Passes Sylvia or Silva for three. Ooh. Allie James collided with the Kings player. It looks like it's going to be Warham ball. Now Cemento is going to come in for a tiara. Warham right, is looking to get back on the inside. Now Cemento pass over to nice Johnson. Nice pass. Oh. oh, Olivia saw it, which is good. Serrano with ball, looking to post up. Yeah, it looked like a foul. Yep, it's going to be a grab on number five. Serrano's going to go into the line for two. I thought she was shooting too. It looks like it's going to be one and one here. 
that does they're, not. They're, they're saying she wasn't shooting. It doesn't matter to Serato. She hits those every day. Every all, game she hits all those. Day. All day, every day. It doesn't matter. All right. Serato with her second here. Oh. All right, we bad, might have jinxed her a little bounce, bit. but. <laughs> Case with ball, 17 to 12. Wareham up by five. Wow, big elbow. Looked like a little bit of a push off there. Case passing the ball around at the top of the key. Fitzgerald for three, just off. Rebounded. Wow. Goes in, yeah. Yeah, she's hustling down there since she's came into the game. Like rainmaker high weird shot. I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I guess if it goes in, I guess then like. Yeah. But it's not going in, so why keep? Oh my God. Oh, what is that? She kind of shoots like Joakim Noah, but it's like a lot of as long as it goes in. Nasimento with the ball here. Pass and off to Tiara. Oh, nice move. She's looking for help here. Stolen away. Fitzgerald. Pass over. Bancourt for three. Man, she's she's just dominating Allie down James low. James again with a foul, I think. That's going to be uh, shooting two. I'm not surprised Molly Johnson's in the game now. They need some more rebounds down low. Number five is Case has a lot of there. missed free throws tonight. It's the second one, though. She's 50% at the line today. Nascimento playing point guard now. Serato looking to take a jump shot from mid range. It hits it. Nice shot. 19 to 4 with 430 left in uh, the quarter. 14. 14. Did I say 4? You <laughs> did say 4. And then 14. 19 to 4 would be much better. That'd be but... great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Case moving the ball up, up, up top. Pass to the inside. Yep. Jump ball. It's going to be Wareham ball. <laughs> Tiara had it and just let go yeah. and she just went to the floor. I thought they were going to call a travel, but I'll take it. Case back to a Whoa. full court press. Jesus. Serato with ball. Molly Johnson. Ooh, a little too much power there. Right over Tiara's head. That in court with ball here. About 350 left in the quarter. Well, what happened there? Batten court for three. For three. Goes good. in. Three. 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 <laughs> Brings the league to two. Case okay, still with the full court press here. Nascimento takes it up. Oof. And she's going to step out of bounds again, Tiara. That's two turnovers in a row for Wareham. They need to cut those down. Case looks Especially to be coming back. Close. Yeah. Two point game. Uh, yeah, two point game. That was a weird play. And it works out for Case. It's a weird shot, but sometimes it goes yeah. in. Just like the free throws. Tiara with ball. Wareham needs to break this here. Oh, wide open. And she misses, but it's gonna be a foul on Nascimento, really. Oh. All right, 
it looks like it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation for Case here. Number 10, Moniz is going to be at the line. They came down on her back, but, you know, she cleared the way. <laughs> And first one is good. Despite that hand, she's doing a pretty good job out there. Amanda Johnson's going to come in. Case takes the lead with that made free throw. This is the second. Molly Johnson with ball. This is where Wareham starts to lose to cohesion. Hopefully they get back on track here. Johnson, nice move. Pass over, Nascimento for three, just off. Out. Molly Johnson, Johnson with the rebound, rebound though. Yep. But she'll pull the foul. Molly Johnson at the line for two here. McDonald is going to come into the game here for Case. Molly well, misses both free throws with Tiara with the rebound. For three, Ooh. just off. Sage by Johnson. Nascimento with ball. Tiara, floater, it's good. 21 20, one point game. 21 to 20, yep. Wareham is up by one. 2.40 to go. Stolen away. Wareham pushing the ball up court. Nascimento with ball in the corner. Pass over to Johnson. Looking to take it all the way. Pass. Pinkston, yep. two. There we go. Wareham up by three now. Starting to get some of that rhythm back. That's what they want. Ooh, a wow. turnover by Case. Rhythm. She threw the ball and there wasn't even anyone there. Yeah, she thought. Uh... Where I'm pushing it up court here. Euro step to the rim, Whoa. just off. Off the front of the rim. Ooh, almost Ooh, a travel almost there. A travel there. <laughs> Fitzgerald for three. Nope. Nope. But oh, sorry, Johnson that was with the rebound. Tiara open, open on the outside. Now Samantha for two, just off. Rebound. the rebound. Tiara do one for three. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> she can do find those. her rhythm now. She can do those. A minute 35 left in the corner. Wareham up by six. Case trying to catch up here. Wow, look at the contest. <laughs> Nascimento's just kind of running people over out there. <laughs> Jumper there. I think there. she was playing football. Right. <laughs> and it's going to be a foul on Nascimento. No, we were just talking about it, and the referee's kind of going to call this one. Looks like we're in the double violation now. They're going to get two free throws every foul. First one's off. Well, we don't have to worry about that from uh, Case. <laughs> they seem to be missing 50% of their uh, free throws. Fitzgerald for the second free throw here. Second one's good. Wareham up by five now. Allie James is going to sub in for Molly here. They've literally hit eight of 16. Oh. Almost stolen away by Orton. 
Everyone's watching it. <laughs> Nobody's going to it, but everyone's watching the ball. That was a really high pass, too. <laughs> Just about a minute and five seconds left in the quarter. Ooh. Almost stolen away. Wareham needs a little ball movement. There we go. Oh, but stolen away by Silva. Silva looking for Monez. Orton. It was a nice Betancourt. look, but... Oh, nice pass. Great pass there by Betancourt to Moniz. Moniz. Moniz, sorry. <laughs> Stolen away by Moniz. To the rim, a lot of contact. He's gonna get to the line. Well, it's a good foul, but <laughs> unfortunately, it's gonna be two shots no matter what. Foul on Pinkston. First one is good. Brings the lead to two points. It's going to be a tough block around in there. 34 seconds left on the clock, 26 to 25. Wareham up by one. Wareham passing around in the backcourt and they need to get it over the line here, and they do. Case looking to trap, passed over. Amanda Johnson. About 15 seconds left. Charge to the line, a lot of contact. Wow. Gonna be a, she gets it in anyway. She's gonna make it anyway. She's come alive towards the end of this game, end of this half. Silva to the line. Nothing there. Two seconds left. Stole it. Oh, Chiara. Nope. Oh. Uh, no, it was after the buzzer. It was a good shot, but it, it was, was a good after shot the indeed, buzzer. Yeah. Like the announcer just said, 28 to 25. Three point lead for Wareham here. And, um, uh, Wareham put in 16 points that quarter. That's a good run. That's a good run. So far. But so did Case. <laughs> <laughs> well, their offense is doing pretty well right now, considering the, um, what happened last game. But so far, they're keeping the tempo up. They're playing good defense. They just need to cut down on the turnovers, and that's really about it. We'll have to see if Coach Brigioli sh shakes them the wrong way like Oof. he did last time. Hopefully not. They'll, they'll know. You're watching Disney Plus up now, but so it's gonna be case ball coming out of the break. Disney Plus has not given us no money. We right. cannot advertise to go watch Disney Plus. Not sponsored. not sponsored. But if you want to, if you work for Disney Plus and you want to sponsor Wareham High School basketball, come see me, Christian Fernandez, at WarehamTV.org. Oh, that'd be a time. Great hustle there by Wareham. Wareham is up by three points, 28 to 25. The beginning of the quarter here. Oh, ooh, did you see that? You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not on the court. We're all sorry that you went to listen to that. Number 10. Oh, snap. Uh, that was scary. All right. Amanda Johnson with a great ooh, pass. Nice, oh, nice block. Ow. Nice save. Pinkston again in the paint. Amanda Johnson, ooh, with the Rondo move with a floater, but it goes off. Pinkston with a one-handed save there. Seven minutes left in the quarter. 28 to 27. Wareham up by one. Stolen oh. away by Orton. Wasn't a very strong pass. Not at all. Betancourt, oh, with a crossover and too powerful off the glass, but rebounded by Case. Rebound, Pinkston. Amanda Johnson with ball. Coach demanding to, for them to push the ball here. Johnson with ball. It's going to be a reach in. Who, who was the foul on? Foul was on Fitzgerald. Oh, great play. Nice. Oh, uh, too powerful off the glass there. Bancourt looking to push the ball up court. 
with the Euro step, and it's definitely going to be a charge there. Absolutely. Amanda Johnson was there for a long yeah. time. I don't know where she was trying to go there, but great charge there for Amanda Johnson. I'm surprised she still has a shoulder after that hit. <laughs> Case keeping the full court press. Johnson looking to take it all the way. A lot of contact, but there's going to be a no call there. Ball will go to Wareham. Yeah, I'm not sure why there was no call there, but we're going to keep on playing. Got really quiet in here. Johnson with ball. Nascimento for three. Just Ooh, off. off the rim. But rebounded again by Molly. Pass it. Oh, nice right pass to Bencourt. Right to Bencourt. Bencourt looking to take it. Oh, and it's going to be a travel lane. Looks like she's rushing it just a little bit out there, but. Double trap on Nascimento. That was a nice play to get out of that. Case keeping the full court press. Wareham needs to get it over, and they do. 5.45 left in the quarter. It's going to be Wareham ball. Wareham is I got a second to talk to um, Isaac Nascimento, uh, Olivia's brother. Yep. And uh, he said, no, I did not teach her any more um, football moves. I wish she wouldn't play those because she would do really well. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a physical player out there. And Pinkston for two. 30 to 27 with 5.35 left in the quarter. Wareham is up. Batten court with ball. Wareham playing a 2-3 zone. Wide open shot here. In and out. Rebounded by Molly. She's a monster down low out there today. Johnson with ball. Oh, off the foot of Moniz, but she managed to save it. Fitzgerald pass over. Moniz off for three. Rebound it. And I'm not sure what that is. It's going to be a jump ball. Like foul over her back. It kind of did look like over the back, but. Her hand was yeah. over here. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that was. Amanda Johnson with ball pass over to Pinkston, and it's going to be off with Tiara with a rebound. And Tiara managed to get a nice pass into Pinkston. Who was the foul on? 32 with the push. What? I, I think the foul was. The foul was on was Tiara. Tiara, yep. Pass over to Johnson in the corner to the other Johnson. To Nascimento. Tiara for three. Just off. Ooh. That would have been Rebounded. Nice. Fitzgerald. Pass over to Betancourt. Betancourt looking to take it into the paint. Great pass to the middle Stole of the lane. Away stolen Pinkston. away. Johnson searching. Nascimento's wide open in the corner. Pass over to Pinkston. Pinkston there we go. Play. This is the ball movement we were talking at the, talking about at the beginning of the game. Case with ball. Case passing at the top of the key. Goes inside. Orton for three. She's taking a lot of deep threes. Bancourt, floater. That one's off, too. Molly Rebounded. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson pushing the ball of court. Nascimento yet again. Great play. Blocked it. And Ooh. takes the foul. That is a good setup. Yeah, they're, they're looking inside. They're taking their time on their offense. I'm loving it right now. The offense is just so fluent. A couple of subs came in. On that day. And second one is good, Pinkston. 33 to 27 with 355 left in the quarter. Wareham is up. Bancourt with ball searching over. Great move. And it's gonna be on the ground. Against Molly. 
That's our third, I believe. Yeah. Case running a box play here, out of bounds. Contact and the foul. Monet's going to the line for her. Player number 123, Kyle Ewell, that's our second, team seven. Monet's on the line, shoot one. Yeah, she's gone off this game as well, despite her injured hand. Where is that one in? That cuts the lead to three. Unfortunately, her hand may stay injured with something like that. Her hand with great ball movement. Oh, what a move, but just off. Case pushing it up the floor, batting court. Pass over, a lot of contact, and another and one! <laughs> Great focus Gonna there. have to take uh, Gianna out. Cuts the lead to third. Nascimento's gonna come in to the game now because of some foul trouble. Monet's at the line for one more. That one's gonna be off. Rebounded. Case keeps it, but stolen away by Johnson. Johnson looked like she's gonna she's go gonna all the way here. And just misses. And it looks like a fast break here for Case. And it's gonna be another and one. Uh oh, and this Ellen is James her third is down straight. Hard. She hit that baseboard underneath the um Looks like we have an injury here, Allie James. She hit that wooden baseboard, but she was holding her leg. I'm not sure what's hurt. Allie James, the eighth grader. Yeah. That's just so funny, like, oh. Oh, we're, we're on. We're on. Yep. <laughs> Ellie James is going to be uh, taken off the court here. Looks like her ankle. And hopefully she heals up real quick. Has a huge smile on her face, obviously. Well, they're, they're cracking she's jokes. Right. Yep. She seems to be all right, but hopefully um, the injury isn't as bad as we think it might be. Now, this is three and ones in a row for Case. Yeah, and uh, she's going to go for the, the, the and one. And the same person. Yep, same person's really taking over this game. Oh, it's going to be an air ball. I think she rested too yeah, long. Yeah, she, she rested a little too long. <laughs> Great play by Allie James. <laughs> Case keeping the full court pressure here. About three minutes left in the quarter. Nasimenta with ball. Pass cross court, but it's going to go way out of bounds. Three minutes, two seconds left in the quarter. 33 to 34. Case is up by one. Benton court with ball. Warham continuing with a 2 3 zone. Pass over to the corner. And it's good for two. Lead push to three. Wareham pushing the call, ball of court. Case looking to trap. Serrato looking for three. Johnson. Nascimento open in the corner. Nascimento still open. Pass over to Johnson. Stolen away. Wareham turning the ball over a lot here now. Pass over again in the corner. It's, it's good. good. Man, she's Moniz really. Moniz is. She's oh, that's, killing us. That's right all now. Moniz. Yeah, she's on fire. Oh, Ooh, man, it's Johnson nice. with a crossover, but stolen away. By Moniz. Yeah, she's on a run here. Bancourt looking to go all the way for three. Case, nothing but air. Wow, they're putting Tiara back in. I mean, she, I believe she has the most points on the team right now. I mean, they need some scoring out there. 
38 to 33. Wareham is down by five. This full court press by Case is really messing with them right now. Serato with ball. Pass over to Johnson. Case is running a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Oh, and oh. another overthrow and pass. I believe that's three turnovers in a row for Wareham, just through their passing. They're rattled. Yeah, they're definitely rattled. That's really been the key for Wareham's losses of late. I mean, they're just turning the ball over at a crazy rate. I mean, they just Going need to focus. Her. Yeah. It goes right in. It's going to be a timeout by Wareham. They've really fallen apart after turnover, that Turnover, turnover, turnover. Yep. A lot of turnovers out there right now. And I'm sure what, that's what Coach is talking about right now. Case is just going through their sets right now. Their offense is fluent. They're getting N1 calls. Their focus is in. And it just seems like Wareham isn't focusing on the game right now. I mean, they're throwing balls away. They're not communicating on defense. It's, it's just a bad show right now. And yet again, it just seems like after halftime, they're just, they slowly stopped doing what they were doing in the first. Is it energy, focus? I, I just don't know. Down by seven. Hopefully Wareham can focus back up and calm down on the turnovers. I mean, before they were destroying them on the inside. I mean, cuts baseline, cuts into the paint. I mean, they, maybe they just need to pass the ball around just a little bit more at the top of the key so they could maybe probe onto the inside. Wow. Stolen Saw away. Saw that coming. And another timeout. Case's full court pressure has just absolutely rattled Wareham right now. What did you just say? Mm. Oh man. They're not even leaving half court. Yeah, they're, they're not even making it to half court. Part of that is Case's full court pressure, but the other part is just we're lazy passes. I mean, well, um, Case switched it up because they were doing a two man trap, yeah, and Wareham was beating it, but they're now doing a man on, yep. and everyone is on the full court. There's not just one or two people up; it's everyone's up. Absolutely, I mean, Case has throughout this game has changed it up to the point where they could guard anybody they need to guard. Their offense is fluent. I mean. So it's funny, so Wareham played the way that we've seen them play before in a positive way in the beginning. Right. And Case was Flipped doing nothing, and now it's flipped. Case is doing everything, and Wareham is... And, that, and that's what exactly what we were talking about at the beginning of the game. I mean, this team could turn it on when they need to. You just need them to stay cold. Except for right there, manage A lot of contact, oh but God, there's no so much contact. It's going to be Wareham. Wareham just needs to take their time. Look, they don't even not... say who's going to take the ball. They're just all just standing around. Whew. Johnson with ball here. Three-pointer, Tiara, just off. Silva Chief. with ball. Silva still searching. The number one score in the game right now. Silva for three, wow. it's good. Wow. That's her first point on the board. It's three or now Cemento with ball. Pass it over to the corner. Wow, that, you can hear that yeah. slap up here. 30 seconds left in the quarter. 33 to 45. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, just another turnover by Wareham. And Wareham's gonna get into a full court press as well. Oh, and it's going to be a turnover. It's going to be Wareham ball. ball. Yep, good play there. Grace didn't even know she did a good play. <laughs> <laughs> she 
<laughs> you almost got hit in the head. 22 seconds left on the clock here. 33 to 45. Pinks, 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 yep. Needs help, doesn't even know what she needs. <coughs> Jeez. Oh, Stolen away pass. again. Turnover after turnover for Wareham. Nice defense. It's gonna be case <laughs> ball. Yeah. She's like, pop, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> The other eighth grader, McDuffie, has entered the game for the first time. Silva off the glass. And in the third. Wow. Ooh, that is not the way you want to end a quarter. Ooh. Obviously, coach is not happy. <laughs> coach about agrees it. with you. Wareham put up five. I mean. For Wareham, it's turnover after turnover after turnover after turnover. And it's not good turnovers either. I mean, they're just throwing the ball directly to the other team. And if it's not to the other team, it's just flying straight out of bounds. I mean, well, Case came back in a big way. Um, they outscored Wareham 22 to 5. I mean, that's just. That's, that's game changing. Yeah, that's absolutely game changing. And it's, it's tough to see because they started the game off so well. And then. Yet again, they just slow down after halftime. If they could just keep that same energy they did at the beginning of the game, at the second half of the game, they, they'd be winning this game right now. Absolutely. I mean, they let Case get into their offensive flow, hitting jumpers, getting to the line. and In their heads. It, it has to be. It has to be. It's just sad to see. And I mean, they still got a whole quarter left. If they focus up, try not to turn the ball over, they could easily come back into this game, but I mean, they have to be determined. They have to want to do that. They need to get back into their offensive set. They need to set some pick and rolls. They need to get players open. And they just can't do away. that. Silva. Foul. foul. That's going to be Tiara's fourth foul. That is not a good foul. I mean, Case is just going to the line like easy. And the worst part about it now is that they're hitting their free throws now. So it's just a bad run. Silver so three actually said hack. <laughs> Silver at the line for a second after hitting the first. She got both. Good form. Johnson with ball. Great crossover. Nascimento in the corner for three. In and out. Rebound. Rebound. Laura Pinkston. Pinkston. She's got a hip check there. Johnson, great pass. Serato. Serato oh, it's good. Two. That's what they need to do. Get inside and try to get some of their players open. Monez with ball, looking for a pick, but it just didn't work out for her. Floater, oh, and it rims out, but rebounded by Silva. It's gonna be a hold on, I believe, Johnson. Serato. Oh, it's gonna be on Serato. Case looking to pass the ball at the top of the key. Wow, a lot of contact there, but there's going to be a no call. Rebounded, and it's going to be Case's ball again. So, you know, off of Pinkston. Case setting up a box play. Box for the inside cut, and there it is. Jumper from mid range, off. Rebounded. Oh, and it's going to go out of bounds off Molly. Case running a box again, double screen. Silva, pass over for three, it's good. I apologize, that was for two. 51-35, Wareham down by a lot. Johnson with ball here, 16 points. 
pass to Molly on the inside. Hits the bottom of the rim. Short. Orton with ball. Case wants to take their time on offense now, kind of burn the clock. Yeah, in, yep. Yeah, she was in that lane for a long time. <laughs> Tiara's gonna come in for Molly Johnson. Nascimento with ball. Case keeping their full court press. A little touch there. Johnson, oh, nice move. Warham with a 2 3 zone. It Ooh, just doesn't nice matter. Two Silver. Again. I, think, I believe that's her third basket besides the free throws. It is. But the first one was a third three pointer. Yeah. She's been on a roll since she came off the bench as well. Johnson with ball. Case playing a 2 3 zone. Almost stolen away. Uh, Olivia almost got a slap to the face with that one. Warham needs to start throwing some fake passes or something. I mean, spice up the offense. Just very, look robotic out there right now. Telegraphed. Anna Johnson with ball. Tiara to the rim is going to get fouled. Going to the line for two. Foul is going to be on Fitzgerald. That's her third. I said that. I said that. Why did I whisper? Here we go. <laughs> that was me. I said that. <laughs> Tiara going for a second one here. It's both. 39-53, Wareham down. 5.24 left in the corner. Wow, she held onto her arm. Fitzgerald with the ball. Looks like Tiara is hurt here. Might have rolled her ankle. Tiara might need a sub. Yeah. Coach is leaving her in. Sure. We're not sure what happened there. Molly Johnson's gonna come in. Yeah, it looks. Oh yeah, everyone's out there. Hurt. Better Tara be Minor. injured than losing on the court. Ellie James, Tara, both with ankle injuries apparently. Both the same foot. Yeah. Fitzgerald at the line. Hits the first one. It's a tough one to watch. Fitzgerald at the line, shooting for second. Off the rim there, rebounded. But Molly could keep the ball there. Johnson pushing it up the court. Pass over, Serato in the corner. Back to Johnson, pass inside to Pinkston. Goes off the back, uh, the front of the rim. Sorry, not a lot of contact there. The other Fitzgerald cutting through the lane, doesn't matter. Off case. Do you think Wareham should start a full court press at this time? I mean. I think they should do one all the time, yeah. in my personal <laughs> opinion. We see how that works with the boys. The boys do full court press, and that's how you win. Yeah, it looks wow. like a reach in there, yep. Reach in on Fitzgerald. The Fitz, Fitzgerald sisters out there. Johnson to Johnson to Serato for, for three. three. Oh. No. Rebounded by Molly, and she's going to get to the line for two. Gets the first one. Oh, 
up in a full court press. Case trying to push it up the court here. Fitzgerald to the line, and it's good. The ninth grader, Fitzgerald, is coming and done some work as well. Almost stolen away, Molly blocked. 